Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking all things snail mucin, also known as snail slime, snail secretion, one of the hottest ingredients in skincare. Around three years ago, when snail secretion really hit the market here in the West, it took the world by storm, and just about everyone was singing its praises. Things have calmed down a little bit since then, so I thought it was a great time to take a look at this ingredient, work out the pros, the cons, and ultimately whether it's right for your own skincare routine. Sit back, relax, and let's talk all things snail mucin. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own experiences have been with this ingredient. So sound off in the comments section below and kind of let us share your snail mucin before and after experiences. Whatever your thoughts on snail mucin, if you're like me, you like the channel and you love some skincare content, don't forget to reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes it on its platform. So it's just a wonderful way of helping as many people as possible discover our wonderful Mad About Skin community. And for that, I'm always so, so grateful. I've got quite a bit to cover and delve in in this video so shall we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in so snail mucin for those of you that haven't heard about this viral ingredient it is kind of what it says in the name so the secretion which snails make as they move across the surface of the earth is what someone decided to bottle and put into skincare products it's actually not a new innovation it's something that's been used in ancient history it's also been um, something that's been a key part of asian skincare for quite some time here in the west relatively innovative i think it hit the market properly around three or four years ago and it's just exploded. According to some recent studies, the snail mucin skincare industry is now worth four billion dollars. Like, let that sink in. That is a huge, huge amount of money to be spent on snail secretion. It has its cult followers that praise it for all its healing benefits, its anti-aging potential, and the fact that it can help even erase some hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration. Ultimately, though, a lot of this is anecdotal, so I want to delve into things in a bit more detail. Look at the science, look at the pros, look at the cons to help you work out whether this is an ingredient that's right for your skincare routine. I'm all about the positives, so let's start with the pros first. So, the anecdotal evidence. Lots of people have been singing the praises of snail mucin over the past three or four years and the transformative nature of this ingredient in terms of their own skin. Whilst there's limited scientific data to back this up, something I'm going to come on to later in the video, the anecdotes do speak for themselves. I've put this ingredient through its paces, but there are a couple of reasons I don't use it as a standard in my own skincare routine. But for those that do, they say it definitely helps to boost the hydration levels. Snail secretion is packed full of hyaluronic acid. It's also packed full of collagen. Now, collagen topically applied to the skin doesn't automatically lead to more collagen in the skin. So we can dispel that myth. But it is a great hydrator, a humectant which is going to draw in and retain moisture within itself. So a lot of people have said that it's really helped them to get to grips with their perennially dry skin in a way that a lot of other ingredients haven't been able to. People have also said that it plumps out the skin in a way that a lot of other serums don't. Hyaluronic acid as an ingredient actually draws in and retains moisture within itself. It sort of puffs itself out with all of that moisture and as a result it does have a plumping effect on the skin. Because of the high concentrations of hyaluronic acid found in snail secretion, this of course will give you that immediate plumping which can as a temporary fix, minimise the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I think the long-term anti-aging benefits of snail mucin need a little bit more investigation and study, but those temporary fixes definitely are present, and if you've ever tried any of the snail products, you do feel that instant hydration and plumpness. A lot of people also praise its ability to calm and soothe the skin. This kind of makes sense because snails will overproduce this mucin as kind of a defense mechanism against stress. It's got a lot of components within it that can help to heal, calm and soothe inflamed skin. And so if you're suffering with any redness or any irritation, using a snail secretion based skincare product could really just help to dial that back. Reduce that redness, calm any inflammation and help your skin health return. Finally, for the pros, it's relatively inexpensive to formulate with. I think, you know, when we hear viral, we hear popular, automatically our mind goes to a higher price point. That's really not the case with snail secretion. You can get some really great affordable products which can deliver a high concentration of this star ingredient without having to break the bank in the meantime. I think that's great because, you know, there's nothing more frustrating than brands capitalizing on the popularity of an ingredient by jacking up the prices. I'm not all about that. And it's great that there are some affordable options on the market. I'm going to come on to some my favorites later on in the video and I've left timestamps in the description box below if you do just want to jump straight over to that section over any of the others. Now with all those benefits I could totally understand why people would rush out and want to get their hands on a snail secretion based product. However there are a couple of drawbacks that you need to bear in mind before you make your purchasing decision. 
One of the key reasons why I don't use this ingredient in a consistent way in my own skincare routine is the treatment of the snails themselves in that harvesting process. Now, previously, in order to get your hands on snail mucin, it had to kill the snail in order to achieve that. Obviously, that is a whole lot of ethical considerations going around it. Modern harvesting techniques means that you no longer have to kill the snail in order to get the secretion, which I think is a big step forward. However, having looked at these harvesting techniques, there's still a lot of things that just don't sit that well with me. Brands like Cosrx say that the harvesting is like a spa for the snail. I mean, <laughs> that is the biggest load of old rubbish I've ever heard. But I think the idea that you don't have to kill the animal in order to harvest this is seen as a big step forward. I will leave a link in the description box below to a video where they kind of share the harvesting techniques so you can see it for yourselves. For me, the idea that just because you're not killing the snail means it's okay to harvest it in this way doesn't sit that well. I never forget that actually the snails increase the amount of secretion due to stress. And so what you're actually doing or what the brands are actually doing is stressing the snail out in order to get it to excrete as much mucin as possible so they can harvest it. I don't know that stressing out animals like this is necessarily the best thing in order to achieve our own skin goals. Something doesn't sit well with me, which is why I personally don't reach for this ingredient. Now, I am a total, total hypocrite because I don't live a vegan lifestyle and I do use other animal-based skincare products. So I know this is totally hypocritical. I don't need to be called out for that. I just think we all in our own minds have to make our purchasing decision based on our own considerations. And this is one of the biggest barriers to me reaching for a snail mucin product. The second issue I have is kind of with the texture. Um, if you imagine a snail crawling across your skin, that's kind of what a lot of these products feel like on application. Now, brands have taken huge leaps forward. They've started formulating in lower concentrations. They've used other ingredients alongside it to kind of better enhance the performance of the snail mucin and also to take away some of that slimy texture on first application. A lot of people aren't going to be bothered by this. You know, a lot of people don't mind a slightly thicker serum or essence. But for me, this is something that is kind of a barrier for me enjoying the product. And beyond just the treatment of the snails themselves is one of the main reasons why I personally don't reach for this ingredient. Finally, you do always need to bear in mind that there aren't actually a lot of studies done into how efficacious snail mucin is when topically applied to the skin. All the benefits I've talked about at the start of this video are anecdotal, people sharing their own experiences. I tried to find as many studies as possible and I came across one, which actually did use a random sample of around 25 women, which, you know, isn't the best or most representative sample, but it's still better than nothing. And they applied the snail mucin in a 40% concentration to the skin and measured the benefits. They definitely said after a 30 day period, there was definite plumpness and added hydration to the skin. And they did conclude that it had collagen boosting benefits. This though is just the one study that I could actually find on this. It's a very small sample of a very specific demographic and they didn't break that apart to look at the various skin tones, ethnicities of the women used. Obviously it was very gender specific. So you kind of need to take all of that into account. Ultimately, I think one study is better than none and it definitely showed some promising results, but you do need to take that into account. And that 40% concentration concentration I think is key. If you want to see the results that people reported from this study, I think a higher concentration is often needed. Now with the pros and the cons out of the way, hopefully you've decided whether snail mucin is an ingredient that you want to incorporate in your own skincare routine. And if the answer is a yes, then I've got three products I definitely would recommend. Let's start with the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Power Essence. A ridiculously long name, but actually the best selling snail mucin product on the skincare market. I think it's a bestseller for a reason. People report getting great great results with this product it's one of the least tacky sticky and slimy of all the textures that i found with snail mucin products which is definitely a pro it's also got a 96 percent concentration of that key ingredient which is nice to see because whilst there aren't enough studies to determine at what level and concentration snail mucin actually delivers the benefits that one study i found used a 40 percent concentration so this is quite significantly higher than that so you should get very similar results to what was reported in that study with all things being equal it comes to the relatively affordable price point, Cosrx aren't the cheapest of the Korean skincare brands, but certainly you're not paying high-end luxury and bougie prices for this. And I think of all of the snail mucin products, this is the one that gets the most hype online. Now, I am going to caveat to say this was like the original. Since then, they've introduced so many different products. They've got eye creams, they've got night creams, they've got patches, they've got treatments. 
All of it is just marketing. Stick to the original, which I think is the best. It's one of the most affordable of the snail muse in line. And I think some of the other products are just there to get the cash registers ringing. It's the original that actually delivers the benefits. I think if I was going to go for a snail mucin product for my own routine, I'd probably reach for the Black Snail Repair Cream by iUnique. The reason I say this is it doesn't just rely on that snail mucin like the COSRX product. It's actually got some great ingredients alongside it. It's got some licorice extract, which is nature's natural brightening ingredient. It's got some ferments which are proven to hydrate the skin. So rather than just relying on the anecdotal evidence of the value of that snail mucin, you've also got some brightening components, you've got some moisture enhancing and hydrating elements to it alongside that snail mucin. So I think it's a much more comprehensive product that because it's in that cream base doesn't have that slimy texture which definitely is a firm plus for this product. And I think actually this is the product I probably reach for for my own skincare routine over the COSRX equivalent. It's a couple of dollars cheaper too, so kind of what's not to love about that. If you're looking for an ingredient that has a relatively low concentration of snail mucin, so you can kind of dip your toes tentatively into this ingredient without having to rely on a product that's like a 96% concentration. I would recommend this. This is the beauty of Joseon Revive Serum. This is primarily ginseng. It's got some other ferments. It's got some other natural botanical brightening agents. And it's got a 3% concentration of that snail mucin. I love the whole beauty of Joseon line. I think they're really well formulated. It's a really, really nice Korean skincare brand that I do shop quite frequently from. I as you can see from the shelf behind me. This is a low concentration of that key ingredient. So if you're looking for something to you know, start your journey in snail mucin, this is probably the one that I'd recommend. Now, for those of you that are living a vegan or plant-based lifestyle, or just like me, are put off by the texture, the treatment of the snails and all of that, but don't want to miss out on the great benefits of snail mucin, you could just reach for this product. This is the V Green Nature Mucin Toner. Such a gorgeous product. Now, studies were done into wild yam and how the composition of that was very similar to, and the outcomes are very comparable to snail mucin. This has also been formulated in a way that gives a very similar texture. So you can get all the benefits of snail mucin, the hydration, the evening out the skin tone, that instant plumping for some minimizing of fine lines and wrinkles without having to reach for a snail in order to achieve it. I love this product. I actually use it on the body when I get out of the shower. I put a nice layer of this on and then top off with my favorite moisturizer. Definitely dials up the rate of hydration. It feels so good. You can of course use it on the face as like a primer. You can use it as a moisturizer, as a hyaluronic acid serum. It is super, super flexible in how you apply it. And it's one of my absolute favorite products. I hope that V Green actually start getting a little bit more love and attention as a brand because they deliver so many great products. I love their Seeker Serum. I love their gel moisturizer for those warm summer months. And this is honestly a standout performer. So don't feel that just because you don't want to reach for snail mucin, you have to miss out. There are some great alternatives and I would wholly recommend this one. So there you have it, guys. A full rundown of snail mucin. I feel as an ingredient, its popularity has plateaued. You know, the hype around it has calmed down just a little, which is a great opportunity to take a little reflection on how beneficial this ingredient is. I think so many people have reported the benefits that they've got from this ingredient, that there is definitely some truth behind some of the claims. However, you need to remember all of this is anecdotal, and I do think there needs to be more studies and tests done on this ingredient to really prove categorically the benefits that it'll bring. Hopefully by sharing with you some of my favorites, if you do want to try some snail secretion in your skincare routine, you know the best products to reach for. For those of you that don't, you've got a vegan alternative too. Let me know your thoughts, feelings and opinions in the comment section below and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.